Hello, this is Alex from PHP Academy with another video for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be looking at the third and final loop in PHP, and this is the for loop. Now, for is a bit more complicated in syntax, and by this, I mean it's structured slightly differently. So if we use the for keyword and we create a block, you can see that it's very similar to a while loop or a, sort of similar to a do while loop. However, what we're doing is we use three expressions within this um, these parentheses. So we use three different expressions to control the loop how we want and we can also incre increment a value within this as well. So in here all we need to do is echo something out either a variable or some plain text or make a or c continue an operation however your program is eventually going to work and everything can, can be controlled, controlled within here. So for now I'm going to create a variable called count and that's going to be equal to, in fact, no. The reason I'm not going to declare it up there is because, like I've said, we can uh, we control everything within here. So I am going to call my variable count. Uh, I'm going to append a break onto that so we can uh, keep track of it um, neatly. Now, I declare my count variable, um, or I assign my first uh, value to it in here. So I say count equals 1. Okay? Now what I do is I put a semicolon, and then I say what this is basically um, the next part of the expression is um, what needs to be evaluated, true or false, to determine whether the uh, block should run. This block should run. So count while count is smaller than or equal to ten, like we've done in the previous examples, and then we say count plus plus. We don't need another semicolon to end here. Uh, it just ends. So what we're doing is, let me just separate this out so it's a bit more easy to read. Okay, so we're setting uh, initially our count variable to equal one. Then we're choosing this, um, we're, well, we're creating a condition that needs to be true or false, and then we're incrementing here. And the way that a for loop works is, this is executed, then this happens, then the block runs, then we increment here, okay? And then obviously this here will be ignored because um, it, w it won't reassign the variable. So now you can see it's just a completely different structure of creating a loop, but it has exactly the same effect. If we refresh, we're just counting from numbers 1 to 10. Now the beauty of doing something like this is it's a lot easier to read. We can also... Um, obviously assign this on the fly it's neater um, as well if I was to just simply change that to greater than this to minus uh, so that's decrementing it this to 1 and this to 10 now what we're doing is we're counting uh, from 10 to 1 so we've just changed them three uh, parts of each expression around where we're saying count is equal to 10 initially uh, while count is smaller than or sorry greater than or equal to 1 um, decrement until we reach 10 the condition uh, until we reach 1 the condition is until it, we're we're still greater than or equal to 1 we still execute the loop and we still echo so that is basically four loops um, in PHP